bam, guess what? Jaffa Cakes start doing different flavours, and I've questioned this in previous reviews. However, full disclosure, I do tend to buy the Blackberry ones more than any other now, because they're tangy, they've got a bit of uh, oomph to them. So they've got a new one out, and this one is uh, Lemon and Lime. And you can tell it's new because it says new on it. Um, it's got some writing there, which says, uh, give a standing innovation to uh, VIPs of the citrus scene. Um, blah, 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 blah. We've also got the ingredients as well there, uh, which I can't read because it's backwards for some reason, but it does say palm oil. So you lose a point for palm oil, even though they might be delicious. Probably not. Um, my, my, my Vitis Jaffa Cakes, chocolate on top, sponge in the middle, and tangy lemon and lime fruity bit in the middle. Uh, glucose fruit cores, stock, chocolate, um, cocoa butter, emulsifies, lectin, sugar flavours, uh, flying niacin, vegetable oil, sunflower and palm, concentrated lemon juice, uh, jelly and agent, pectin, uh, lime juice, all that kind of stuff. No sign of any um, orange juice in this one, which there is in some of the other ones. You have to be careful. You don't like orange. So these were like £1.20 for them, which works out at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like 12 pence each. Now, to all intents and purposes, it looks like a Jaffa cake. And it still looks a bit orangey as well. Sponge is a bit dry. Um, did I tell you you could get in on the picture? Thank you. Sponge is a bit dry. And the lemony bit. is okay. But it's not outstanding. So, um, this is Jaffa Cakes, lemon and lime flavour. I'm sorry. Two stars, maybe you lose one. But two stars. It's a shame. Till next time. Bye.